Coming up on breakfast, a multi-million pound industry, computer games are also, though, becoming a spectator sport. We've sent breakfast Graham Satchel along to watch. He's at a festival in Coventry. Graham, how's your gaming? Morning, Naga. The gaming is going well. We are at an event called Insomnia. These guys have been up all night playing computer games. But what has become fascinating, I think, about the gaming world is not just that people play computer games, but they come to watch other people play computer games in their thousands. We'll be trying to find out why a little later in the programme. But first time for the news, where you are this morning. And we're going to stay rooted in the digital world now. Computer games are not normally thought of as arena fillers or spectator sports, but a new generation of superstar players are taking them in a rather different direction. Hmm, thousands of people are going to arenas to watch them slug it out. Competitive gamers can earn millions of pounds. Breakfast's Graham Satchel is in Coventry at the UK's biggest gaming festival to find out what it's all about. Graham, I know that you're a mad gamer. How's it going there this morning? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I laughed, Graham. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, good morning, guys. We are at an event called Insomnia, and believe it or not, these guys here have been up all night playing computer games. It's like the whole of their dreams have come true. Uh, they've been playing a game called Counter Strike. A bit too much for some. You can see some who've tried to stay up all night, not quite succeeded, and collapsed on these very comfortable chairs. We are here not just to see people who are playing computer games, but because people are now watching people playing computer games. It has become a spectator sport, and we've been trying to find out why. <laughs> They have come in their thousands, some to play computer games, but most to watch. I know you're thinking, sitting in front of a computer all day playing games is one thing, but sitting watching other people playing computer games all day, really? If you play the game, if you know the game, you can appreciate the level of skill and the kind of technical ability that goes into it. It's really funny to watch some of the stuff they can pull off and just think, wow, they must must really have put so much practice into this and it just inspire you in some way to, to keep on going. It's enough of a sport to be sort of sit inside and sort of, you know, hone, hone your skills in that way instead of, you know, with a football or a rugby ball. You think it's a, a legitimate sport? Yeah. yeah, legitimate sport. This is a high-tech professional setup. Two teams play for thousands of pounds in prize money. You can see the tension. The game is streamed live online. There are even commentators. Oh, that's a huge shot from Zed, taking down the Orphan Spuds. Great work from him. Gaming is, of course, a multi-billion pound industry, and there's plenty of money changing hands here on the coolest, newest stuff. But what is surprising is the numbers of people who are now watching other people play games like this. The global audience online and at live events last year was more than 70 million. Lost in a world of Minecraft, we met 11-year-old Alex. Minecraft is some, some sort of game that is built by the perfect people. Why do you like watching other people playing? Well, it makes me feel like I want to do what they're going to do. This is Josh and his mum, Michelle. Josh watches videos of gaming all the time. His mum doesn't get it. I found it really weird, and I was watching it earlier, watching people commenting on other people's playing, and I've never seen anything like it. Um, and obviously that's where the following is, which I hadn't really clocked. I thought it was just the gaming itself. So I do find it slightly strange. On stage, some living legends, gamers who record themselves playing League of Legends and then upload it onto YouTube. Siv has more than a million followers. I make my living out of it and I have two employees who I am coaching to become uh, second and third versions of me. And it's, it's just a really nice, I'm really happy it's a sustainable job for now, yeah. This event, Insomnia, is taking place at Coventry's football ground. So is the national sport being overtaken by so-called e-sport? Not yet. Some here can't even stay awake. But gaming is evolving and growing all the time. Well, with us now is Craig Fletcher, who organised this event and events like this all over the world. Morning to you, Craig. <laughs> Morning. 
So there will be some people, there obviously there are lots of people who are really into their games, and there will be other people who say, I just don't get this, watching other people play computer games. <laughs> yeah, it, well, there is no difference watching someone who is better than you at something. You want to learn what they do. How, how are they that much better than me? You go to watch football matches for the same reason, where you could be down the park playing yourself. You want to engage, engage in a social activity like this and, and be part of something. And do you think it is a, um, a viable I mean, commercial... I mean, you're obviously making money out of this. Obviously, yeah. uh, very much so. To give you an idea of the sort of money involved, uh, recently there was an international tournament that had $11 million in prize money. That's bigger, th that's bigger than most major golf tournaments, for example. Uh, and that was raised mostly from the community. It was community-funded. And, and the way people are watching... So this is not traditional, is it? People aren't watching on telly, but they're watching, what, online... And